Welcome to Shanghai Live, Professor Zaydin. Thank you for having me. The just concluded UN COP26 in Glasgow set future goals for environmental protection, and this year, agreeing on a new global pact to tackle climate change. How much of an impact will this have, from your point of view? The impact of the COP26 is going to be felt for the next few decades if countries follow through on the promises that they made. Even though the final document, it's a little bit weaker than the initial version, it still has a lot of important targets, uh, especially for large countries and the largest emerging countries like China. We have a pressing need to to derail climate change, to mitigate the effects of climate change, and this document has the potential to help us achieve that. One thing that is very important globally is the fact that China and the U.S. agreed to work together towards a common goal.、Um, as we have known for the last few years, there has been China and the U.S. have grown a little bit distant、um, in terms of their policy making. But on this topic, they agreed to work together. They agreed to set up common standards, and the fact that both China and the U.S. signed the final document of the COP26 is very important. And China is moving towards that, regardless of what the U.S. is doing. But the fact that they can do that together makes me a little bit hopeful that maybe we can achieve some important milestones in the fight against climate change. Why is prevention work and taking measures so urgent in today's context? Climate change is not a problem of the future. Climate change is a problem that is already happening today.、Um, we already have an increase in the volatility of climatic events all over the world, and when we have countries that are trying to develop, like China or Brazil or Russia or India,、um, it's much harder to do so when you have the possibility of climatic. Disasters、uh, that will affect the poor people of these nations more than the rich people that can protect themselves. Climate change is a massive issue.、Uh, when we bring it down to a person's level, how will it influence a person's life and production? Let me get one basic、uh, thing that affects us all、uh, in China, which is pollution.、Mm -hmm. Right? Pollution is is the result of economic activity. At the end of the day, we still have. A society in which to produce things, we pollute the environment. And unless we work towards reducing、um, carbon emissions and greenhouse gases,、uh, problems like pollution will always will only become worse. Pollution is one issue.、Um, things like surviving disasters. We don't want to hear a hurricane alert. We don't want to experience a flood. We don't want to breathe. Bad air. These are all results, directly or indirectly, of the process of climate change that、um, uh, the global society have been accelerating in the last 200 years.、Mm -hmm. Renewable energy and new ways of production have been developed to reduce pollution. Have there been successful examples to show the current process, especially when it comes to daily lives and consumption? We have the solar panel industry in China, for instance. The fact that、um, this industry has increased production ten times in the last few years,、uh, that has the potential to reduce the use of fossil fuels around the world. Denmark has done wonderful work、um, in setting up、uh, wind energy as an important part of the energy matrix of the country. Germany has spent billions and billions of euros、mm -hmm. in subsidizing solar energy, even like. Promoting to the extent that people would actually retrofit their houses to put solar panels in the roof, they would get a lot of tax benefits from it. We have energy、um, parks in the U.S. right now. A lot of companies trying to to set up solar rigs in the deserts. Deserts, of course, we will receive a lot more sunlight. Those are important initiatives. Speaking from a business perspective, last but not least, what emerging business opportunities do you see、uh, while responding to the climate change? Any company that can increase their production, either if they are not associated with carbon emissions at all, they have a space to do that. That is easier. Other companies that are gonna no, we promote solutions for existing companies 
to pollute less. They're also going to be successful. Then we have frontier technologies. Companies are going to say, we're going to do carbon capture. We are going to literally take the air and we're going to clean it for society and we're going to charge society for that. Thank you very much for sharing your insight with us today. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's an honor.